Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is going to be like a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I wanted to film a video today because I said I was going to the other day to one of my friends and she wanted to see one of the reviews I was going to do, which I'm going to film after I do this one. So I kind of don't know what I'm really doing today. I kind of just picked some colors, but it's kind of going to be like a a green smoky eye, I guess. Um, I'm going to use some shadows from ColourPop. They're going to look like this. And this one is in Slay, and it's really, really pretty. And this one is Partridge, and this is like a darker green. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But I don't know, maybe if I take off the top. Oh, that's so pretty. I love these shadows. But, um, so, yeah, I'm going to use those, so, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to put my hair up, and this is usually what I do to get uh, my makeup done. I put my hair up in a ponytail or whatever, and, or a bun, I think I'm going to do a bun today, and... I grab my bobby pin and I get my bangs out of the way so I can actually do some stuff. So I'm going to start off with my um, moisturizer and I just do one pump of this or however much you need. I have like really dry skin so I kind of need all the help I can get. all done. Next I'm going to go in with my LMA Smart Shade Perfect and Correct Primer. And it looks like this. Don't mind my nails, just don't mind them at all. Just ignore them. Ignore them. Okay. And I usually take a couple pumps of this because it helps moisturize my face. Mm -hmm. Not bossy. I'm so excited to film. Like I haven't filmed in like uh, a while. Like I think like a it's been like a couple weeks, maybe. No, last I, time I filmed was like four months ago. <laughs> Hi, bad guys. No, just life has been really, really tough. These, I recently broke up with my boyfriend, so, I mean, um, I'm doing the single life, and it's pretty much fantastic right now. So, alright. So that's all done, I think. Yeah. Alright. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Re Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles, and that's what it looks like. It has like a spongy applicator tip, so you just crank it to how much you need, and go like this. I usually do a triangle because it helps highlight your face. And I'm not doing this with a mirror. I have one right in front of me, but I'm not using it. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> I can see what I'm doing. I just highlight my nose. Kind of just get rid of whatever redness I need. I have face demons right now. They're just all there. Look at that. That's ugly. I'm going to cover those up. pretty much all over my face. Now probably what you guys are going to say in the comments is why isn't she using foundation? Well, concealer is a lot lighter than foundation is. I have the Revlon 24 hour stay for normal to dry skin and it works for me but I just didn't want to wear it today. Like some days you just don't feel like it. 
like at all. So I'm going to prime with my lids with this too. Just put a couple dots. Sorry if I'm like kind of blocking it. But. And I'm going to take my Real Techniques Expert face, face Brush and just buff that in. I really love this brush. I actually, first off, I hated it because it kind of made me look cakey, but I realized you have to do like circular motions with it in order to make it look nice and not like a scary monster. I don't know. Can you guys hear that? That's my phone going off. My home phone. I'm not answering it. Normally, pe people who just call is the bill collectors, so I just I just don't bother. Everything's blended. So I'm going to let that sit on my skin for a minute. And I'm going to go into doing my brows. I'm just going to take my Maybelline Brow Drama in Blonde. Because they only, the problem I have with this product is they only have three colors. Okay, now I'm a redhead. There is not one for strawberry blonde, and that's what I am. I had to get blonde because there was only blonde, brown, and dark brown. So obviously I can't have brown or dark brown because it'll just <laughs> make me look ridiculous. So I'm going to take that. And this is really easy to use. If you just want to go quick and just comb through your brows and just take this little guy and just wipe it through, then... That's what you can do. I forgot to comb through my brows. I'm going to do that right now. I'm just brushing up all the hairs. Here, I'll zoom you guys in so you can actually see what the heck I'm doing. There we go. All right. Fix that a little. All right. So, I'm going to take my brow. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the mascara, kind of. Oh, sculpting brow mascara, that would make sense. Alright, I'm just going to do that. And brows make such a big difference in your makeup. Like, if you don't do them, I mean, you don't have to do them if you're naturally just blessed with filled in brows. And that's awesome, but me, I have blonde hair, so you kind of can't really see them. And I didn't really want, like, full-on, like, sculpted brows. I kind of wanted them to be a little bit more natural. And so much better. I actually have a... They actually just frame your face, and I love that. Alright. I'm going to fix my lighting here. I don't Strike my nuts. Alright. So, you guys kind of see what I'm doing? I mean, my lighting is so horrible. I'm so sorry for that. Trying to fix this. Oh, whatever. So, <clears throat> next I'm going to take my Wet n Wild um, pressed powder and fair, and this is what it looks like. 
if you guys can see that at all. I don't know. I can't really tell. It's not bright enough. No. Yes. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. We can see it now. Okay. And I'm going to take that just so I can set my concealer on my eyes. Just so it doesn't increase. <clears throat> Done. Now I'm gonna take. No, I'm not gonna take that one. I lied. I'm gonna take Cornelius, and this is the one of the shadows in Kathleen Light's palette. I love her. She's an awesome YouTuber. I watch her all the time. She's so funny, and it's just a matte brown shade. It's really nice. And I'm gonna take that with a Luxie 205. And it's just a tapered blending brush. Swirl it around. I kind of noticed though with um, these shadows, you like it's so much better to use your your finger. But uh, I don't know. I if you're wearing if you're doing using like a the synthetic brush, then you should be fine. But it works a lot better with your fingers. I guess that's kind of a good thing for people who don't like want to use brushes. I don't know. Just gonna put that as in my transitions shade. Alright. And with these shadows, you have to make sure that the lids stay on, like you put them on really tight, otherwise they're just not gonna stay like their formula, because they have a weird formula. It's kind of like a not really a moussey, but it's like gel to powder, if that makes any sense. But you need to buy them in order to know what I'm talking about. And this isn't sponsored or anything. I just really like their shadows. <clears throat> so now I'm going to take Slay. And uh, it's really, 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 really sparkly. Like, really sparkly. You guys see, see that? Yeah. Wow. I'm just going to take my, fing my ring finger and put that in there. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So pretty. I'm going to put that on my lid. I don't think I'm going to do eyeliner today either. I just don't feel like it. Never have those days where you just don't feel like doing eyeliner. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. This one I don't think I kept too tight because it's kind of having some fallout. But I don't know. It's so weird. When I got them, I thought they were going to stay. I put them on tight, the cap. I don't know. Sorry, this is going to be a long video, guys. But, oh well. Sorry, I needed a makeup in the way. Ah! The struggle. Alright. Take that off. Next, I'm going to go in with Partridge, and I'm just going to put that on the outer corner if I can get this open. Oh, gosh, really, I can't get this open. Dang. All right, come on. Why won't you open?
This is what our charger looks like. Yeah, see that? It's like a really dark forest green, and it's really pretty. I kind of do like a V shape, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Like you just make a V with like on the outer corner of your eye. And why did I put the cap back on? I don't know. I don't know. And I'm just doing this with my ring finger too, because it's easier. Just making sure they're moving. Now I can put the cap back on. And just gonna blend that out with the same same blending brush because that's what I got. It's so important to blend when you're doing a smoky eye because it's you just need to. So I'm kind of just doing a windshield wiper motion. So, move this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. This will be helpful, Cassie. Yeah, nobody needs to see what you're doing. Yeah. I'm just going to blend those together, kind of. And these are the ones I have. They're very glittery. So, if you don't really like glittery eyeshadows, I would stick to, like, a satin finish or um, just matte. Matte matte color sh shadows matte color shadows I mean matte finish alright I think we're all blended there um, let's see oh my god I have so much glitter on me um Alright, next I'm going to just do, I'm going to just take my uh, foundation powder again, and I'm going to take a little, a little black brush right here, I'm going to do it underneath my brows, just as a natural highlight because, um, I don't know, it, it works for me. Alright, next I'm going to take... Um, my eyelash curler, and this one is just from Revlon. I don't know. It was like three or four dollars. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I remember on the first time I ever did this, it was like so scary to put this up in my eye. In my eye. I mean, on my eye. Have you guys ever had that? Like, where you're like kind of like scared to like try something I don't know and I'm gonna take my voluminous butterfly mascara I'm gonna put that on my lashes put that on my lashes I think mascara and eyeliner just really finish it off any look you're doing. Mm. 
Yes, bitch. Yes. Can anyone keep their mouth closed while doing mascara? <laughs> I know I can't. Uh, the faces we make while doing our makeup. Just saying. Okay. Now I don't really want to do my bottom lashes. I mean, I know you're kind of, you kind of supposed to. I mean, just to make the top and the bottom look even. But I really just don't want to. Because, so anyone, anytime I get like a mascara to put it on my lower lash line it just doesn't doesn't work lower lash line I mean lower lashes whatever um so next I'm going to do bronzer and this one is by pixie it's the beauty bronzer in summertime and it's really pretty. As you can tell, I used, like, a lot of it, like, so far. You can't even see the name, because I normally just imprint it. What am I looking for? And I'm just going to take my stippling brush. I'm kind of just going to contour, but bronze at the same time, if that makes any sense. And I'm hella fair, like hella fair. So I need like all the color I can get. <laughs> Do -do -do. I'm gonna take some on my forehead. Just a bronze letter. Next side, I'm not even doing this with the mirror. Holla. <laughs> I really should have done Let's see how good I do. Let's see. Let's see. After a while, uh, like when you're doing your makeup, you kind of get a feel for how your face is. Like what, what shape to do and everything else. I think that's good. Just put a little on the nose, on the side of my nose. Alright, next. I don't know if I want to do blush or not. Mm. Nah, I was going to, but I don't feel like it. So next I'm going to take the ColourPop highlighter in Smoke and Whistles. Let me just make you fall right out of your panties because this is just... Just look at that. Look at that. Look at it. It's all pretty. I'm gonna do a swatch for you guys because just it's it's just not justice. I can huh, just <laughs> oh my god. Just fall. Just all over. Just. So I'm gonna take that on my ring finger and I'm gonna put it right on like your cheekbone like yeah right on your cheekbone I'm kinda gonna blend that in a little but just already look at that <sighs> come on now who would not love this it just makes you look like you're a freaking goddess like, really. Okay, that was just a hair. It's like, what the heck is that on my face? Alright. We are all highlighted and... Oh my god. Sorry, I just can't help myself. It's all pretty. 
take some down my nose, whatever is left over on my finger, and some on my Cupid's bow. This is actually a really good trick to um just define it. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys out for the finishing touches. Finishing touches. Okay, so next I'm going to take my my powder again, just my um, foundation powder. And I'm going to take a powder brush and just lightly tap that and just tap on the side so you can get the excess off and then just pat it around down the neck because you want it to match. And just blend everything. Alright. And lastly, I'm going to take this NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I kind of messed up when I was going into Target to buy this. I didn't even, like, realize it was matte. I kind of just saw, ooh, setting spray, and I ran out of my L'Oreal Infallible one, so I kind of just picked it up. But I have really dry skin, so using, like, a matte setting spray, I kind of have to be, like, light with it. I don't know, so I'm just going to spray that around my, around my face. Just let that dry, and we are done with the tutorial. Alright, well, oh my gosh, 27 minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. And I'm not going to edit, edit this at all. I don't think, I don't think so. Okay, well, and this is the finished look. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But, uh, oh my gosh, I need so much better lighting. <sighs> Alright, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, see you later.